So then, Kev, so we're going to do a little catch-up about um, what the Academy and the Pathway have been up to. Uh, firstly, there's been a lot of T20 going on recently. How's all of that gone? It's been really good, actually. Um, our lads have played really well. Um, we've been looking at their style that they've been playing at. Um, some nice, aggressive intent at the start of the six overs. Um, and we've played, you know, many, many teams. We've played um, Somerset, Gloucestershire, Wales. Uh, I think we've had 12 games altogether. And um, there's been some really good, good results. It's been a bit tough, actually, this year because of exams. Um, and the the pandemic, I think, is is brought the schools together, saying exams are obviously really, really important, but it's really heightened this year, and it's really helped with our partners being with us with Beds, Bucks, Hunts, and um, L London schools. Uh, we've been we've been able to pull in those players as well, so it's given the opportunity for those players to play with us as well. I mean, how have the results been in those competitions? Uh, I th yeah, I think we've won half. Uh, I think generally when you play two two games um, in one day, you would win one and lose one. Um, and lucky enough, we have played here on the um, county ground, which has never happened before. Um, so, you know, I think the lads that did play on, 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 on that day, um, you know, it's quicker wickets, the, the outfield's faster and, and truer. Um, and it's, it's just amazing to play on the county ground. And uh, have they been having any other responsibilities around the, the sort of the first teams? Uh, the, the, the academy always have um, responsibilities and obviously things to do in and around the first team. So we've had our players um, being 12th man at champ championship games, uh, bowling with the first team, uh, fielding with them and stuff like that. I think it's really important that our players do see the pace of the game and watch first class cricket because I know a lot of our players are playing and they don't always see a live game, they'll, they'll just see it on TV. And I know there's been loads of good work going on with Cricket East. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, Cricket East have got a new, um, uh, a new manager, I suppose, now in, in Shaz. Um, and we, we're working really clo cro close with cr Cricket East. Um, and we're really looking to revamp their EPP as well. And I know uh, Shaz and Adil are really, really looking forward to um, just getting stuck into that. And there's been some great camps going on. I know the one at Stowe was a, was a great success. Can you tell us about more about that? Well? Yeah, yeah, we've been trying to work with our partners with um, Stowe, Stowe and Oundle. Um, they've got multiple pitches where our, our players can, can, can play on them. And Rips and I have, have been scouting through there as well. And our, and our coach has been there. I saw one particular game under 12s versus um, Bucks, uh, where Bucks chased down our score and I think they needed 50 or five overs. So the positive cricket from there is fantastic. And our, we, we need to see our partners play, um, you know, so hopefully they can play out here one day. And uh, the second level have been doing really, really well recently, playing a lot of cricket. Um, what's been the relation to that with the academy? Yeah, um, last year all of our academy players played um, second team cricket and a lot of them have played this year. And as I said, with the exams, they haven't, they haven't played as, as, as much. Uh, we did have one, one player uh, make his debut um, down in Glamorgan last week. Uh, his first ball, he got a wicket, which is fantastic. And then the next game he played, which was here, I think in his second ball, he got, he got a wicket. So our academy players are just filtering into the second team because uh, all of them want to play the best cricket they can. Uh, that's great. And uh, what have we got coming up for the academy in the past? Uh, we've got a few knockout tournaments coming up where, um, you know, you, you lose your first game, you're out. Um, and I know all of our age groups are looking forward to the festivals that are coming up from under 10s through to, through to under 15s. Um, and then there's a lot of three-day cricket for the academy boys as well. So I think as the season's progressing now, um, you know, there's going to be more and more cricket. You know, the schools are going to be finishing and there's just going to be loads of kids playing cricket now.